Welcome to Blazing Gamer and in this video we are going to take a look at the Nest.js framework. So Nest.js is a framework to build server-side applications, web apps, microservices and all. So uh, it is a proper framework uh, much like ASP.NET or Spring or Django. So like in NodeWord we have Express which is a library to create servers. But this Nest.js provides us many modules that like uh, help you get started and really and provides you a architecture to build your server rather than you building up an architecture on yourself. So the key points of Nest.js is extensible, versatile and progressive. So the extensibility comes from the model architecture. As I said, there will be many modules that will come with Nest.js when you start it. Uh, start coding with it and they can you can install many other modules from npm that work that are integrated with nest.js so it's versatile uh, the versatility also comes with the modules so it supports many technologies for the server side like you can graphql is integrated you have websockets integrated and many database orms integrated and progressive so nest.js when you create an nest.js project it will create um, like uh, TypeScript will be the default language and you will have all the modern JavaScript frameworks and tools ready at your disposal like Jest. So let's get into it. Let me get into the documentation. So if you have worked with Angular, uh, Nest.js will feel quite similar because the architecture is same. You have controllers, you have modules, you have services and the whole thing is governed by dependency injection. So if you have worked with Angular, that um, Nest.js will feel rather easy to get started. And as it says here, Nest um, works on top of Express or Fastify. So if you really want for performance, I would recommend using Fastify because it's literally double in speed than X Express. So getting started with Nest.js is really easy and they have their own CLI from which you can create new projects and the way this works is uh, in the Nest.js you create controllers just like in ASP.NET or uh, Spring so controllers are basically classes which have methods that are annotated or given the mixins of the HTTP verbs like get, put and post and everything so that's how you will create your basic HTTP routes Similarly, you have providers which are injectable services just like Angular, so which are handled by your dependency injection system. So that is one benefit that comes is, uh, with performance since uh, you are no longer responsible in creation of objects, and then you won't unnecessarily waste memory. And since the system is responsible for creating the objects, so it will better utilize the memory available. And other than that, there are many things that are built into Nest.js and which can be used by adding more modules. Uh, one of so authentication is uh, inbuilt. So we have good integration with Passport, which is a great authentication library, and JWT also. So you can install the package Nest.js Passport and set up the Passport strategy, and authentication will be enabled. Similarly, for databases, we have many ORMs that can be used, SQLize, Next, or Type ORM. And Type ORM has out of the box integration with Nest. So, Type ORM is something that can connect to SQL, no, no SQL databases. A lot of databases can be connected to using Type ORM, MongoDB, Postgres, Oracle, MySQL. So, uh, Type ORM really makes it great because you can have one logical code and then you can just if someday in future your database system changes you just need to change the database type here and install the type bindings for that database system and it makes it really easy and the way this database system works is on repository pattern so you create a class mapping the uh, table or the row that you have as an entry then you create an service which will basically be in a repository and then you will be able to call many queries your sql queries and everything from that 
uh, we have quite some examples here on how to create your queries uh, combination and yeah you can uh, like go to the type ORMs documentation and see the examples how to create queries another thing is we have good uh, inbuilt integration with mongoose which is a mongodb connector so it's really popular that's when SJS uh, created uh, the integration for mongoose also so type ORM can be used to connect to mongodb as ORM it provides and connected to mongodb or you can use mongoose also but I would recommend type ORMs because it's more robust and if you want to enable file upload, well, we have Nest.js has integration with Malta, which is a middleware to make uh, file uploading easy. Similarly, we have validations that you can create. This is much like uh, the validators you create for forms in Angular, and you can create classes and validators and attach it to your application on a global scope or on some routes. Uh, you can enable caching. so. Uh, Nest provides a simple in-memory cache that you can enable or you can add another cache on your own Then you have the logger uh, It's really nice logger. You can in you don't need to create your own logger with Some other library and you can extend the logger and make it really as you want it so another thing was performance so as I said you can integrate fastify so to integrate fastify you just need to change one line that is when the application has been created you just need to make the generic type of nest fastify application after installing the module and you'll get a huge performance boost out of it then you have your basic model view controllers also so you can render your HTMLs to create your server side applications and the template engine this uses is okay so it uses the handlebars template engine so i don't use really any model view controller applications i generally have angular as my front end and create web apis also you can uh, enable hot reloading through webpack uh, if you have a webpack script as i said it is versatile and it supports many other technologies so we have graphql integrated into next nest.js so we have a graphql module which is just wrapper on your basic apollo server which is a graphql server and you can really easily create your graphql resolvers and one of the good thing here is like you can provide the path for your graphql type definitions and it will generate uh, the interface uh, for them automatically rather than you going and creating interfaces for your GraphQL types So that is something that comes in really handy and other than that we have The web sockets are easily integrated. So to create a web socket You just create a controller and rather than using at the red gate like you create a web socket gateway instead of a controller sorry there and then you can create at the red subscribe message so this will be your event listeners and it's really easy to create websocket apis also using these and similarly it supports the microservices pattern inbuilt so you can have different nest servers and you can connect them through any transport protocol you want so you want tcp udp and it has some other protocols also inbuilt so you have if you want to connect to a Redis pub sub, you can do that. Rabbit MQ, gRPC, Kafka, and everything can be connected using these microservices patterns. So you can really see that how versatile and how different types of development are supported by Nest, and this really makes it really powerful. And other than that, you have a great CLI which will help you throughout your development process. And you can see you have. How to get started with type ORM and mongoose and everything right here, I guess. Okay. And testing is also very easy in case of, as you can see, it has integration with the Jest framework and which is a really great testing, unit testing framework and you can create your unit test suites easily using Nest. So 
once I started using Nest, I never went back to Express because the Nest provides me a framework, so I don't need to think of a like application architecture. Because when I start with Express, you can like you can create basic applications really easily. But if if your application grows in size, and the complexity increases very rapidly, because you are not managing a good architecture. But with framework like Nest, you are given an architecture, and if you follow that architecture, architecture, the complexity increase is not that drastic. So, I hope you like this video, and if you want to know about some other technology, just comment below, and I'll co cover it in the What Is series. And another tutorial series that I'm thinking of is a uh, create basically how to integrate Python with Node, and subscribe to get notified on when i upload that so thank you for watching